The Sultan of Sokoto, Mohammed Saad Abubakar, is blaming Nigerian elites for the deplorable state of the country. The royal monarch identified equity, good governance, and social justice as solutions to the challenges the country currently faces. The Sultan made these recommendations during a summit on peaceful coexistence and nation building in Gombe State. Larry Ayemi was there. The members of this when the Sultan of Sokoto speaks, most Nigerians listen. The royal father, who is generally regarded as the leader of Muslims in the country, is not only influential, but revered. The Sultan is asking leaders at every level to do better. It deplored the state of insecurity and social economic turbulence in the country. It's a very important problem because all the Muslim groups will sit down discuss on what's the way forward for the Muslim woman in the country, strategize on how to achieve stability and development in this our country, our great country that Almighty Allah put us together as Muslims, Christians, and even Muslims, people who don't even believe there is God. We must all live together peacefully. After the Katsi call at the Gombe State Government House, the group moved to the International Hotel for the summit on peaceful coexistence and nation building. Different speakers took turn, some focusing on fundamental issues, while others identified current challenges facing the Nigerian state. They hope to stir leaders and influences to action and implement their proposed solutions. I'm not shut off. Solution to our numerous problems in this country. What we lack is the sincerity and honesty to implement those solutions. Because no religion has asked anybody to kill somebody. Terrorism, banditry, kidnapping, whatever it is, it's against Islam and Christianity. But these are the thriving businesses in this country now. Without peaceful coexistence, and without having a mutually beneficial relationship and understanding, there will be no development. And if we don't develop, it means the nation will collapse. For peaceful life to be desired, we must all take necessary measures that make it realistic and realizable. This is in fact what the DCC and our Coordination Council of Nigeria stands. Secessionist agitations and insecurity in Nigeria are made worse by the rising cost of living and pervasive poverty. Leaders such as the Sultan must do more than talk, but actively engage other leaders to ensure that the right policies are implemented to reverse the decay and save this nation we call home. Landry Adeyemi. TVC News, Kumbing.